you're in the market for a brand new Windows Phone 8 device, you most likely think of Nokia as your first option. And this is with good reason too, since the company is the largest manufacturer of Windows Phone devices. There is one smartphone though on the market that's running Windows Phone 8, but is not manufactured by Nokia, and is actually worth taking your time to check out. Hey there everyone, how are you doing? Joe Marine here from MobileCupOfJoe.com. And in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be giving you my full review of the HTC 8X on Verizon Wireless. So you guys, the HTC 8X is running Windows Phone 8. As you can see, it has a beautiful, beautiful design right here. It's very fast, has a great 4.3 inch 720p HD screen, awesome camera. All in all, this is just a really, really well designed product. And again, looking for a new Windows Phone 8 flagship, make sure you check this puppy out right here, especially because it's currently going for free with a two-year contract on Verizon Wireless. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out my full review of the HTC 8X. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a mobile cup of Joe. Alright, before we get too far in this video review, just like to give a big quick thank you and shout out to our friends over at Verizon Wireless for hooking us up with HTC 8X and other awesome Verizon products. Guys, it's because of companies like Verizon that do make Mobile Cup of Joe possible because they sent us these products like the 8X right here to review for you guys, our fans. So big thanks to Verizon for this product right here and uh, let's go ahead and get started with our review. So let's start out by talking about some design and build quality aspects of the phone. The HTC 8X measures in at 5.21 by 2.61 by 0.40 inches, and it weighs in at 4.59 ounces, which makes the phone very compact and very trim. You can see right here, it's not a thick phone by any means, and it's a very compact too especially with that 4.3 inch 4.3 inch screen size which we'll get into a little bit later in the review but overall just a very nice very compact foam and on the edges right here you can see there's kind of a nice little upward curve all around the phone you can kind of see it through all the design nice upward curve there on the edges and there's also a very gentle slope in the back right here as you can see which makes the phone rest very comfortably in your hand and it feels quite nice for one-handed use now on the front of the phone you will find your 4.3 inch screen. Below that are your three Windows Phone 8 capacitive touch buttons, your back button, your home button, and your Bing search button. Up top is your 2.1 megapixel front facing camera right there, along with your uh, speaker right there for making telephone calls. Going on to the back is your 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash, HTC logo, Beats Audio, and your Verizon 4G LTE branding right there. And below that you have your speaker grill, which rests below all that. Going on to the right hand side, we have our volume rocker right there, along with our dedicated camera capture button. And above the volume rocker is where our SIM tray is right there. Now if you go to the top of the phone, we will find our power slash lock button right there, along with a microphone pinhole and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on the bottom we have our micro USB syncing slash charging port along with another noise cancelling microphone pinhole. And on the left hand side we have absolutely nothing. So in terms of color options there are four available. You have the blue right here, a re blue, yellow, red, and black. Uh, this is the blue model obviously that we got from Verizon and this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, it just looks really incredible. You can see that if you're looking on the phone head on you have these nice blue accents on the corners. All around it so you can tell that's got nice color from the front you also have a nice accent of blue right here on the speaker and then you turn around and you see that the entire phone is covered in this nice blue which really does make the phone stand out makes it really pop and it contributes to the great design of it and I hope you can see right here this is just such a beautifully crafted phone uh, HTC really did knock it out of the park right here you know it may not be as like groundbreaking of a design like the HTC one was but the 8x still shows you that HTC is very capable of producing some pretty sexy smartphones. So let's go ahead and go on to some hardware. So the HTC 8X is packing in a 4.3 inch screen. You have a pixel resolution of 1280 by 720p HD, and that gets you 342 pixels per inch. As you can see right there, the colors, they are popping. They are looking mighty good. Uh, everything just looks really nice. Everything's nicely saturated. The text is extremely crisp, as you can see right there. 
uh, no real pixelation whatsoever. You know, 720p HD may not be the highest resolution because 1080p HD is the norm nowadays for flagship phones. Since this is a smaller 4.3 inch form factor, you have a higher pixel density and that's what gives you that 342 pixels per inch. And this is 4.3 inches, which might sound very small to you on today in 2013 when we expect our flagship smartphones to have 4.8 inch screen or 5.8 inch, 5.8, 5 inch screen and higher. But the 4.3 inch form factor is actually kind of nice, a nice breath of fresh air. You, know, you can easily reach all four corners of the device with one hand. Very easy for one-handed use. And all in all, I really did dig the screen, the size, and the resolution here on the 8X. Now, in terms of processing speeds, it's pretty similar to what we've seen on previous Windows Phone 8 flagship devices. We have a 1.5 GHz dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU, along with 1 GB of RAM, which is pretty basic, like I said, for all the Windows Phone 8 flagship devices we've been seeing, uh, like this right here, the Nokia Lumia. 928, Nokia Lumia 925, Nokia Lumia 1020, all of those big Windows Phone 8 handsets. So I'm going to go ahead and run Temple Run right here for you real quick, just so you can see how it does perform. And uh, you know, a 1.5 GHz dual core processor with Qualcomm's older S4 Pro and 1 GB of RAM may not sound like really high specifications. You might be thinking that this thing would run very slow, but as you can see right here, we're getting great performance here out of Temple Run. And all in all, the 1.5 gig, you can have slower uh, processing specifications on a Windows Phone 8 device because the way Microsoft manages the power and the processing consumption here on Windows Phone 8, uh, you don't need nearly as much processing speeds as you would on, say, an Android handset. For an Android handset to run this smooth right here with this level of fluidity, you would need you know, quad-core processors and 2 gigs of RAM, but you can get by with a dual-core processor, an older one nonetheless, with only 1 gig of RAM, and you can still get excellent performance on your phone because Windows Phone 8 is not a very... Um, what's the word? It's not a very demanding oper mobile operating system, which as you can see right here, so everything runs beautifully smooth. Uh, this is about as smooth as you're going to get on Windows Phone 8. Now let's go ahead and talk about some cameras. On the back, you have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, and up top you have a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera. And I was actually pretty pleased with the results I got out of both of these. I'll go ahead and go into my photos just to show you real quick uh, some of the photos I was able to take. And here's a little sunflower right there because it's summertime. And just look at the detail. We had a nice little rain this morning. And uh, the detail there, you can the raindrops, the detail of the sunflower, uh, everything looks really great. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the American flag because hashtag America right there. Go USA. We've got the nice American flag. Let's go to another picture real quick. We have our nice little outdoor frog using his little mushroom phone, I think. Uh, I found this at Walgreens. This is like so freaking awesome. Really good deal. Thank you, Walgreens, for that wonderful little turtle right there. Uh, but, you know, camera, you can see, looks really great. They're on the written review for this phone, there will be a link in the description below. You can go to that on our website and get a better idea for how the photo quality does look. Now, in terms of the front-facing camera, it's actually pretty cool. So it's 2.1 megapixels, but HTC used a special 88-degree ultra-wide angle lens, which allows you to get a wider view. So if you're taking a group photo with people with a front-facing camera, you'll be able to fit more people in. And taking selfies is a thing of the past. It's a breeze now. So you can see I took this with the front-facing camera and just see how wide it was able to get. I didn't hold this out that far from my face. And you can see it got myself there. It got a good portion of the foyer in my house right there and it's just really cool to be able to have such a wide angle with your front facing camera. I'm the top of the hat off to HTC for implementing such awesome camera technology here. Now in terms of memory you have 16 gigabytes of internal storage but there is no option to expand it via micro SD card slot which might be a disappointment for some especially if you can download a lot of applications and store a lot of media locally on your device. Keep in mind that there is no micro SD card slot for expansion of your memory here on the HTC 8X. Now, in terms of call quality, we had fantastic call quality. Again, this is the HTC 8X on Verizon Wireless. It's also available on AT&T. But with this one here on Verizon, fantastic call quality. People I talked to said that I sounded fine and really crystal clear, and everyone on our end sounded very good as well. Now, in terms of data speeds, we actually got some really impressive speeds here on the 8X, like we would expect from Verizon's great 4G LTE coverage. In terms of download speeds, we had an average of about 18 megabits per second with a spike of around 35 megabits per second. And in terms of upload, we had an average of 4 megabits per second with a spike of around 6. So you can see right there, we have some pretty 
nice data speeds right there. This is with around four bars of service. So once again, you know, awesome LTE speeds from Verizon. So with that fast dual core processor and fast 4G LTE, all in all, this is a very, very speedy smartphone. Now, in terms of your battery life, under the hood is a non-removable non 1800 milliamp hour battery. And I know, you might, might, I know what you might be thinking, you know, 1800 milliamp hour battery, that's cray cray. That's no battery life at all. That's my voice for angry Windows Phone 8 fanboy. Are there Windows Phone 8 fanboys? I don't know. That aside, 1800 milliamp hour battery, non-removable. I was actually really impressed with the performance I got out of it. Uh, if I turned the phone on at around 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning and I used it with about moderate application usage, checking emails, web browsing, a light picture taking, and heavy texting, I still had about 15% remaining at 11 o'clock at night, which I thought was pretty darn impressive for only 1800 milliamp hour battery. And again, just shows you the great power consumption Microsoft has for their Windows Phone 8 operating system. So in all in all, really awesome hardware here on the 8X. Now let's move into some software, software, software. So obviously the 8X is running Windows Phone 8, as you can tell by the 8X name. Gotta love those little name cues that HTC puts in this phone. A full Windows Phone 8 here. I'm not going to run through all of the features because I just reviewed the Nokia Lumia 928. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well if you want to get a deeper look at the features in Windows Phone 8. But you know, you've got your live tiles, you have your customization, everything you'd expect on Windows Phone 8. There are a couple things though that are different here about the 8X than we've seen on previous Nokia Lumia Windows Phone 8 handsets. One of those being the pre-installed applications you get. So you see you have HTC's flashlight right there which is basically just turning your LED flash into a flashlight. You have your HTC app, you have NFL Mobile, you've got Photo Enhancer and a few others on here that you can install. Uh, probably the best out of all of these is the HTC application. From the HTC app you have your weather right here, which you can go into, and I can look at how it is right now. I can look at the little three-day forecast for today, tonight, and tomorrow, and if I want to go from weather, I can just swipe over, and I can look at the stocks. I can be like, oh my, look like the uh, MSFT is going up today, and the FTSE is going up, and looks like I got my good stock, my Dow Jones, DGI. That's my stockbroker voice, too. You're getting all my impressions right now. And if you swipe over again from stocks, you get your news, which you can customize. So if you go to add, you can add different news stories. So if I want some health, and let's say I want Yahoo News and Health, and I want BBC Health, and let's get all the health news stories on there. I just go back. And if I go back, I've got my health stories on there as well. So really clean interface here. Nice Windows Phone 8 overlay. And nice to have your weather, your stocks, and your news all here in one application and that is what you see right here with my on my start screen for my clock right there that is actually the HTC widget so if you touch on that it'll take you to the HTC app or HTC live tile I should say now even with that included since this is not a Nokia Lumia phone you do not have access to Nokia's exclusive applications they put on Windows Phone 8. Uh, you know, since Nokia is the largest manufacturer of Windows Phone 8 handsets, they have made a ton of exclusive applications for it. Uh, two of those, two of my favorites being Nokia Music and Nokia City Lens. Uh, those are nowhere present here on the 8X and you cannot install them from the micro, from Microsoft's Windows Store. Those are exclusives to only Nokia Lumia handsets. It was kind of a big disappointment for me. Uh, Nokia Music is a fantastic music streaming service and Nokia City Lens is a fantastic little application to find a look at restaurants and places of interest and hotels and stuff at the location you're at and has an awesome interface. And again, two of my favorite applications for Windows Phone 8 and two of the apps I think really make Windows Phone 8 truly awesome. And they're not here on the ADUX. I know I understand that because they have to make those exclusive to Nokia devices since those are Nokia made applications, but I did find their uh, absence here on the ADUX very noticeable and kind of detracted from my enjoyment of the device. Now while we're talking about applications, it is worth noting, again, that Microsoft's Windows Store is still not up to the content offerings such as Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. You know, you have your major applications such as Evernote, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Skype, Twitter, Tempo Run, Pandora, Evernote, all those awesome, I already said Evernote, Evernote, my voice, oh my god, 
Evernote. You gotta love me in 15. Oh, you have, you know, speedtest.net. You've got some big apps on here, but there are a lot you are still missing. So if you have a, t if you love the robust application offerings from the Google Play Store, Apple's App Store, just be forewarned that not every application or game you're going to want is available here on the Windows Store. Now, with all that said, it's kind of a shorter review, uh, shorter than my usual ones. I gave the HTC 8X an 8 out of 10. This is a really awesome device. Probably the biggest highlight for me is the design right here again. Beautiful, beautiful design. Uh, it's very snappy, beautiful screen, awesome cameras. And you can currently pick this thing up for free with new two-year contract on Verizon Wireless. Which, for the price of free, even though it's a two-year contract, this is an incredible deal right here. Uh, if you're looking for a Windows Phone 8 handset on Verizon and you want to get one for free, definitely check this out. Just be remember, though, that there is no expandable storage. You don't have those great Nokia applications. And the Windows Phone 8 still doesn't have the content offerings of other leading mobile operating systems. But, you know, if you're in the market Windows Phone 8, definitely be sure to give the HTC, HTC 8X a look and a check out. So that is my full review of the HTC 8X. Please feel free to comment below and let me know what you think of the smartphone. And that's about all the time we have for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. Guys, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. It takes one second to do so and it really does help support the show. And if you want to share your support towards the show even more, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. Remember to check us out on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, and head on over to our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I am Joe Marin from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.